afternoon, welcome to uh, Free Will News, hope you had a great new year and uh, we're looking forward to 2016. So I'm going to start off by talking a bit about what I've got right in front of me, which is the Chancellor Exchequer's uh, cocktail of threats. Where he's referring mainly about the ongoing stock market turmoil in China, the recession in, in Brazil and Russia, but also uh, the collapse of oil prices and general commodity prices, globally speaking. Um, what, what do you think of what do you think of this this threat, these collection of threats? Uh, well, let's have a look at what's in the cocktail, and uh, you can see there's some fairly strong stuff mixed in there. Uh, probably the strongest thing actually is China. Right. We've seen the stock market, the stock market, the Shanghai market has a, uh, if the overall market goes down more than 7% in a day, then the market stops. Well, that's happened twice. And then today we're on the Friday. Uh, they, they removed that inhibition and uh, uh, the mar market actually recovered. It, the last time I saw it, it was about 2% up. So it dropped 14 and gone up 2 uh, not brilliant, but uh, better than uh, what could have happened. Um, so, uh, you know, it looks pretty much in free fall over there. Uh, and uh, one of the things that's going to happen, of course, is a, a devalued one. Right. So what is the um, um, consequence? Of oh, the implication of that is that uh, they're trying to boost exports and so uh, we can look for maybe some weakening of the other competitive uh, origins for these kinds of goods, Japan, Korea. We might see the currencies being reduced in value there so that the exports are equivalently, uh, 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 you know, as competitive. Uh, it makes a shaky platform when you consider that behind all this for Europe anyway, we have the this... Uh, ghastly spectre of deflation, deflation where things cost uh, less and less every day and uh, this is uh, the big spectre that's haunting Europe. Uh, we've got a, other parts of the cocktail are uh, basically a rapidly falling uh, dollar price that also seems to be failing to find traction. Uh, in the old days if, uh, if Saudi Arabia and Iran uh, um, had a conflagration, then one people would uh, expect the oil price to go up. These are both big sources of uh, oil. Uh, no, uh, they the the oil price dropped to I don't know where it's right now, but the last time I looked at it, it was about thirty three dollars for Brent. So um, we have a lot of stuff just kind of drifting off course. Um, and for George Os Osborne. Well, this is the story so far. The story so far is that the Yanks, the Americans uh, reduced their uh, interest rate and everybody's now looking for Britain to, uh, sorry, increase their interest rate and uh, everybody's now looking for uh, Britain to follow suit. If they do, uh, the fear is that we'll go uh, straight down the recessionary tunnel again. Uh, so uh, George Osborne probably is trying to... Um, uh, uh, reduce those um, uh, expectations of an uh, interest rate increase because uh, several pillars of uh, British economy, like the house price, um, might be badly affected. Sure. So uh, I'm I'm uh, nervous. I feel uh, uh, that uh, demand is uh, in our business. Uh, demand is uh, definitely uh, being damaged. Uh, I believe that uh, the supermarkets aren't doing hugely well. Uh, uh, I'm definitely on the back foot. What I've heard is uh, that there may be some overstocking. Mm -hmm. um, so I think 2016 is going to be um, a very eventful year. And I think one, uh, one which would be uh, best to wear a very conservative hat all the way through. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.